ever wanted to create your own web service but don't know how to start? In this tutorial, I will show you how to build Hello World RESTful web service using Spring Boot, step by step. Here, I am going to follow this guide from Spring's official documentation. You may have a question in your mind. If the resource is available on the web, then why should you watch this video, right? Well, if you are like me, who is kind of a visual learner, this video will be helpful for you. If you are comfortable with reading and implementing it by yourself, go ahead and explore it on your own. I have provided the link to the guide in the description. This site is a great resource for learning the Spring framework if you are a beginner. So let's start. I am going to start the project from scratch. To create the project, I will use my favorite online Spring initializer tool. Head over to start.spring.io. From here, we can generate a Spring Boot project. I am going to use Maven as my dependency management tool. My programming language is Java. At the time of this recording, the latest Spring Boot version is 3.4.0. I am selecting that. Always try to use the latest Spring Boot version. For the code, I am going to demonstrate here, Spring Boot 3 is the minimum required version. Change the metadata. For the group name, I am going to use my domain name. Artifact REST service. Then for packaging, I am going to use JAR. For the Java version, the minimum required Java version for Spring Boot 3 is 17. I am going to use that. If you are running a newer version of Java than 17, you can go with that. The code I will show you in this tutorial is compatible with the latest Java versions which are newer than Java 17. For the dependency, click on the Add Dependencies button. Search for Web. Select the Spring Web Dependency. This is the only dependency I need for this tutorial. This is simple Hello World project, so I don't want to overcomplicate it. Now, generate the project by clicking the generate button. The project is generated and downloaded to my computer. Let's extract it and open it in your favorite IDE. I have opened the project in my IDE. I am using the IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate version. If you are using Spring Toolsuit, Eclipse, NetBeans or any of your favorite IDEs, you can go with that. But make sure you know how to compile and build your code. Before diving into the code, let's have a quick look at the file and folder structure of the project. Here is the sidebar. This is our project. The first file I am going to show you is pom.xml. Pom stands for Project Object Model. All the information and dependencies are defined in this file. These are our metadata. Scrolling down, then we have our dependencies. Here we only have one dependency which is Spring Boot Starter Web. We also have Spring Boot Starter Test Dependency, which is added to this POM file by our initializer by default. Then we have this SRC folder. We have to put the source code inside this folder. Expand the source. We have two subdirectories, main and test. In the test directory, we need to put all the test code. And inside this main directory, we have two more subdirectories, Java and resources. In the resources directory, we have two subdirectories, static and template, and the file application.properties. The template directory holds all the HTML code. The static directory contains the static resources like images, style sheet, and JavaScript files. And this application.properties file holds the necessary configuration of the project. Now, inside this Java directory, we have the base package. We will put all of our Java code here. Opening the REST service application class, you can see this class contains the main method. We can run the project by clicking on this play icon beside this main method. Or we can click on this play icon on the top to run the application. Our application is started at localhost on port 8080. If we check this URL, we will get an error. That is because we have not defined any method to process the HTTP request. Let's do this. Now, let's analyze the service interactions. Here, opening my postman, the service will handle get request for the endpoint greetings. It may optionally have a query string called name. The get request should return status code 200 with JSON in the body. The output format would be like this. This ID field is a unique identifier for the greeting and content is the textual representation of the greeting. Let's do the coding. To model the greeting representation in this base package, create a 
resource representation class. To do this, I am creating a Java record class, creating new Java class. For this, I am going to create a new Java record class. Create a new Java class. If you are using IntelliJ IDEA, make sure you have selected record. This record class has an ID, type long and a content of type string. I have created this in the base package because our application is simple and does not require anything like a complex folder structure. Now we need a resource to handle the HTTP request. In Spring's approach to building RESTful web service, HTTP requests are handled by a controller. This is a simple Java class with special annotations. Let's create a new Java class, name it greeting controller. We need to annotate it with REST controller. With this REST controller annotation, Spring can identify that this is our controller. In this controller, we will have to define different endpoints and method to handle our HTTP request. Here we will have get request mapping. It handles the greetings endpoint. At first, I will make a simple public method that returns a string to make sure that our program is running properly. Name it greeting and return the string hello world. Now start the server. Opening Postman. This is a GET request. Here our project is running at localhost 8080. And the endpoint we are interested in is greetings. Here we have hello world in the response. And the response code is 200. And we have this text response. Now let's modify our method for the desired output. Here in the URL we may have an optional query string name. And we will provide the name. So in the output we will display it. Back to the ID. Let's modify our greeting methods return type to greeting. This method accepts a request parameter. We will get the name parameter from the query string. So the value is name. The default value of the name is world. Declare a parameter of type string and name it name. It returns a new instance of greeting. Here for the time being I am giving some static values. Provide the ID value of 1 and second parameter is name. Restart the server. Opening the postman, here is the URL. I am adding a query string, name equals if they can. Here in the params, postman fills up with the parameter and value. Send a request. Now we are getting this response. Response status code is 200. Response type is JSON and the response is properly formatted. Here I want to increment the ID with each request. Let's do this. Declaring a field, private, final, we can use atomic long to update the long value automatically. Name it counter equals new atomic long. Now in the greeting instance, replace the ID with the counter dot increment and get. And also I want to show the content to be hello and then the name and space between the word. Now run the project, open postman, send a request. Here we are getting the response. Send another request. This time ID is incremented. Send a request again. ID is again incremented. Congratulations on building our first hello world restful web service with Spring Boot. If you are eager to take your skills to the next level, don't miss my next video where I teach how to create REST API card operations with Spring Boot and MySQL. Click on the video on your screen and let's keep coding together.